Hi, this is Ken Boyd with the Accounting Accidentally website, and I wanted to create a video version of a very popular blog post, The 20 Most Interesting Facts in Business, for those of you who like video and audio. So I start off here saying that cash is more important than profit. Even profitable companies struggle without generating sufficient cash flow. I always use the example of a very successful residential plumbing company I work with, and they had a problem, even though they were highly successful, and that is they had invested in a commercial plumbing project, and they'd lost money. And the money they lost reduced the amount of cash they had to run their normal residential business. And they struggled to make payroll every month. Eventually, the owner brought in a partner who invested cash that they needed to operate, and they were able to continue. But the moral of the story is, that even a successful, profitable company can't operate successfully without cash, and it puts a tremendous strain on the business owner. The second, and I think this term is being more accepted in recent years, failure is necessary for success. Failure isn't simply a risk to be managed. It's actually necessary for success because it's what you learn. The wisdom you gain from the failure allows you to succeed down the road. This is why you hear about so many internet companies pivoting, changing slightly what they do to achieve success down the road. I then shift in the next point. I talk about more of an accounting concept. If you spend research development money to create a new product, you must be able to acquire a patent on your idea to protect it. But in spite of that cost, you cannot post an intellectual property asset to your books for things that you create yourself. So if you create Kentucky Fried Chicken's recipe for the chicken or the formula for Coke or a new app, if you spend money to create it yourself, you cannot record an asset and capitalize the intellectual property as an asset. Instead, you expense that as you incur the expense. It's an unusual thing that many people don't understand. You have to expense all that spending. And the last section of this first video is the amazing success of Starbucks and the CEO, Howard Schultz, who is now retired. It's a great example of innovation. And I mentioned here the goal of a remarker is to create brand advocates, and Zuberance describes a brand advocate as a highly satisfied customer who recommends their favorite brands and products, and in italics I put, without being paid to do so. So essentially, brand advocates are salespeople who promote your product for free. So the example I use is, it's Christmas time, you go to Starbucks, you get the PSL, the Puff and Spice Latte, you tell your friends about it, how great you think it is. You are operating as a brand advocate, and Starbucks is benefiting from you promoting their products without being paid to do so, and it creates tremendous leverage, and it's a big reason for part of Starbucks' success. That's the end of the first section of the discussion, Most Interesting Facts in Business. Remember that here at Accounting Accidentally, I'm going to go to the home page. You can find hundreds of blog posts, and you can also find over 400 videos on YouTube on accounting. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.